I'm in rare form today. I am processing many things. Oh, yes. And so moving the telling. The song inspires movement and movement whoop, inspires the sound song story. Oh, yes. We have a well of movement way down in our kitchens. Hey, but when, ha ha, we are the voice, cha cha, we tap into something additional. Hey, not only are we affirming our personhood by embracing these two innate gifts, the voice and the bold, the emotion, but we are stamping on the head of our enemy, which says, who says, shh, sit down, shut up, you have nothing of value to say. Wrong! God tells us in the Tehillim and in the Psalms, sing, shout, make a new song. Shout into the Lord. Play the shofar, the timbre, and the harp. But the very first thing is our innate voice, our body in motion, our praise to Elohim. That's right, LSD, listen, see, and do, 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 do. The key is, cha cha, coming as a child, chasing off the fear of man. Proverbs 29 25 says the fear of man is a snare, snare. So we have to get rid of that. And so when we do that, haha. -ha, we can come into our destiny. Because when we can be a child, well, we can't go back to being a child, but we can approach life and our father like a child. My daddy said it, I receive it, and that settles it. Hey, so little children, little babes, toddlers, they know how to entertain you and me and the father, right? They're not thinking about, they're not judgmental. They haven't been tainted. They're not thinking, oh, what is he thinking? about me. I'll just be frozen. No. So I had a, a father recently, hey, who wants to get his child cha -cha, into classes with me. And he asked if he could sit in. Now his daughter is probably 10, 12 years old. And I said, parents don't sit in with children at their age because they need to find their own expression. They develop a bond with the teacher if it's a good, good match. Yeah. And they discover this wonderful adventure of moving. They're growing up. They're coming into their own. So I said, no, I have to insist, no. A recital, hey, a show to show what you've learned with your family in a recital is great, but not in your own class. That's your time with God and with the teacher and whatever God wants to do in that child's life. And so we're constantly having to draw the lines, we're constantly having to put up boundaries where they are necessary and don't be a pushover. Don't, ooh, ah, don't touch, don't let people tell you how it's going to be. No. You, in your role, in whatever your profession, and personally, especially, personally, boundaries are very, very, very important. Absolutely. Please, let's have fun like a kid. Ha, ha. Yeah, so, well, God, hey, takes us away. On our retreat, he wants us to rest in him. And Holy Spirit, oh, has a sense of humor. Oh, yes. So if we're constantly, continually, all the hours that we're awake, being a false wear pious, over responsible, hey, individual, hey, that's not God's will. We're all like, oh, no. God's will is for us to come hey, with a childlike faith, hey, putting all of our burdens on him. Let's let God carry the load so that we can continue with joy and gladness. And this, hey, this is a gift from God. Oh, yeah, the peace and the joy, that confidence, hey, in God, cha-cha, is a gift from God. Let's embrace it. Let's appreciate it. Oh, yes, hey. So, we're coming into do, 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 the Feast of Trumpets. Woo, yom Ah. The feast, cha cha, of blowing the trumpets. Oh, yes. And so the world, cha cha, is celebrating Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year. But on the lunar calendar, many believe actually this is not Rosh Hashanah. It's actually a couple of weeks, haha, before Pesach, the Passover holiday. But whatever we do, however we see things, let's do it all for the glory of God, right? The Word of God talks about conviction. And it says that whatever. Whatever is without conviction is sin, which is missing the mark. So respect yourself. Whatever you do, church out with your conviction, ha ha, from God. Hey, whoop, sha sha, hey, hey, whatever you do, do it with conviction. This voice 
is powerful. It's the major light switch. Huh? It will chase out all oh, trauma from your life. Yes, because the trauma, the sickness, disease, and permanent, I believe, is from an oppressed, depressed, suppressed voice. Oh yes, wrong attitudes, generational sins, haha, huh? which we have not recognized. Oh yeah, and which we need to cut off with the soul of the spirit, chutu, which is the word of God. Hey, boom. Staccato, fast, 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 fastest. And we have an adage. An adage, you know, just four sides of the room, six sides. And 25 body parts. It's a moving sentence that never ends and only continues. You just four sides of the room. 25 body parts, whoop, and six levels, right? And then we have staccato, fast, 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 fast. Woo! And then we have. Slow and fast. Syncopation. Oh, yeah. So, the ingredients of dance cha cha are called cha cha. Hey, whoop. The dynamics of dance. High, low, short, tone, medium, small. Everything is juxtaposed. Um, oh, stars, stars, stars. And out of the rest, Psalm 116, 7. So, return to your rest. Oh, yes. So, I totally, wholeheartedly, completely believe that as we're worshiping God, he is fixing, changing, restoring, revitalizing, transcending. And as Revelation 21, 5 says, cha -cha, he's making all things new. Because when we fulfill our role, just to be a priest before the king, he is being God in our lives. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Hey, so we can trust him that he's moving, shifting, changing, restoring. He literally is shifting our lives as we were literally, physically, Moving forward. Oh, yes. When God plants a word in your heart, that beautiful seed will grow. You will see what he has said to you come to pass. Cha-cha. Woo! Show the joints. Wherever you can bend. Cha is a joint. <laughs> right? So, when you're doing a staccato, you wouldn't try to do that on an adagio sound. You wouldn't try to do a, a, a staccato, an adagio on a staccato. You could hurt yourself unless you're, you're a pretzel. Oh, so, long and big, in dance we call melody movement. Using every moment of that music and letting it then turn into something else. But it's called staccato fast, when everything gets short, short and fast. That's right. Do you want to keep your feet right under you? Oh, oh, oh. Having fun with God. Oh, yes. Shall we chase the darkness out? When we lift up our voice, there is power, there is authority in the spoken word. And I always say, woo, in every nation, child, we've been given permission to sing. But what about the spoken word? The spoken word which activates the spirit of God within each other. We need to die, die, die to the fear of man. And when we lift up our voice with this volume, we put the enemy under our feet. Because every nation that I've worked in is the shame and humiliation that's tied into huh, hearing your voice. Woo! And we need to allow our voices, hey, to be free, free, free. Woo! Oh, yeah. So, lately, as you know, haha, if you watch the job, my chum, haha, I've been talking about emotional healing. I'm not. I've been denying myself of that need of human relationships, the intimacy of human relationships, right? Because what happens is you become such a giver. You're a leader, you're in ministry, you love giving, and I love giving. I have the gift of love. What happens is I think over time, you don't even realize it because you love to give so much that you've totally been depriving yourself of receiving in human relationships. Yeshua came as a man, not only because he is the once and for all sacrifice, but he came as our propitiation, our substitute, our forgiveness. Hey, but it was pointed out to me the other evening, he came as a human being, 100% man, 100% God, without sin. But as a picture that it's God's will for us to have human relationships while we're in this human sphere, even though we're filled with the spirit of living God. So it's not enough, hey to only have a relationship with God. But you need to be in intimate, emotional relationships with others. Hey. And so I have a circle of people 
that have been in my life, that I'm real with, that I'm accountable with. Hey. But the change has to happen on my part. I need to make space for my person to be hurt. Hey, in those relationships. And not to feel like something is wrong because I have human needs. Oh, that's right. Hey, hey, hey. And so we need to balance. We need to strike a balance in our life. I used to talk about the first 11 years, I had such an imbalanced life here in Israel because it was all ministry and I used to wait till I was crawling out of the city to get on retreat. Hey, hey. But the last four years that I've been here at the Tabernacle of David with the Dion Center, my life has become so much more balanced and I have grown so much and yet I'm at another crossroads of healing. Hallelujah. Now that's a reason to rejoice in the name of Yeshua. So, we are called to rejoice. The word of God says, whoo, whoop, whoop. Rejoice with those who are rejoicing and weep with those who are weeping. Let's be sensitive. Oh, yes. Because if we're only willing to hear ourselves, I was at a Shabbat dinner, there were like six people there, and everyone was talking at the same time. And I just came off a retreat and I was very sensitive to that. And I felt so disturbed in my spirit that nobody would have a listen. And I think that's a real downfall. You know, talking and listening. Both cha cha are very important. We need to learn how to do both in the name of Yeshua. Well, it's going to be a quick one today because I have a student coming. And we're going to rejoice in the freedom of Elohim. So it's a structured time. We're given permission because some of us need permission hey, to be a child. To come as a child. Die with the fear of man. So we can be thrust forward into our divine, supernatural destiny in the name of Yeshua. Shalom and Nehito. Peace and see you later.